So is your church still using a phone or a tablet to live stream? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can up your game by still adding lyrics and scripture and lower thirds to your stream with your phone or tablet. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So one thing I have to let you know in doing this, you're still gonna be using your phone, but you need a computer that's gonna be running OBS to that will be doing the streaming and sending it to wherever, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you decide to go. Um, what we're gonna do is actually turn our phone or tablet, now this is only Android, I'm coming out with the iPad and iPhone version of this once I get my hand on an iPhone. Um, but we're gonna turn our phone or tablet or even an old um, tablet into an IP camera. And then we're gonna have OBS pick that up really simple to do so let's go ahead and cut over to the computer and I can show you what we need to have in place to get this working all right so the very first thing let's go over to the Google Play Store and for our app the one that I actually used was IP cam and well actually IP webcam excuse me and this one is the one that made it was the easiest for me to get together working all right so you go ahead and install that and i've already gotten that installed all right so let's go ahead and open up the ip webcam app and it's really simple now it does have ads but it doesn't really put a lot on here so what we're going to do is make sure we need to check a few things. So if we go here to local broadcast settings, I don't need to put in any password because that makes things a little bit difficult. So we just leave that blank. Um, make sure you don't really have to change the HTTP or RTSP port. Keep that on 8080. You will need to know the IP address for your phone. So inside of here, we got everything here, all right? Now, under video preferences, you can come in here and set your resolution. I am gonna do um, 1080, I mean 1920 by 1080. Um, you can change the quality if you want. Honestly, what they have in quality right now is fine. Now, what I also need is I have, I need, I need to plug my phone in so it has some juice. All right, so, and I'm gonna plug my phone in here because I know when I was setting this up, this actually will <laughs> drain your battery super, super fast. So, all right, um, doesn't matter which camera that you're using. Um, I'm gonna use the back one just so you can see what I actually have on my screen and everything. All right, and that's mainly it. All right, so let's scroll, come back, and we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and start server. Now, as I tilt this to the side, and waiting for the camera to start, we're gonna see we have our IP address and everything here at the bottom. And see, I'm at 254.80.80. All right, so we got everything here. I'm gonna try and put it on my mount here so I don't have to keep holding it. Fine. All right, so now, now that I got that in place, let's go ahead and open up OBS here on the computer, and we're gonna show you what you need to do to get all of that working. All right, I'm here on OBS, and what we're gonna do is remember that IP address of what you have on your phone that's showing up that you can always look at your phone and look at the bottom and it'll tell you what it is. We're gonna come in here into whatever scene that you want and we're gonna add a source. And we're gonna add a media source. Call it whatever you want and I'll just say phone camera. Now what we're gonna do is uncheck local file. 
Um, uncheck show nothing when playback ends. You can use hardware encoding if you want, but that's mainly it. Now, inside of this input, we're gonna add the address that's showing on your phone. So that's gonna be HTTP address, and the port 8080, slash, and then do video. Then okay, and boom, there we go. As you can see, here is the live video you're seeing me record over here and <laughs> it's going on to infinity and this is all this what's going on live as you can see you see my green screen here behind me and you can open up any browser and go to the exact same IP address that's actually showing up and you should have have access to the camera and any additional settings that you want to make so if we come over here now, as you can see, this is what's showing up. And I want to come in here and switch this to our front facing camera just by pressing this button. And if we come back, now you can see it's looking here. And I have a filter on, so that's why you're seeing all this craziness. Let me turn this filter off. And that's for my green screen to work. All right, so now you're gonna see the pure green that's behind me. All right, so now that we have this, we're gonna bring over our, let's lock this into place first. And now I'm gonna drag this over to another screen and now I have Worship Extreme up. All right, so we have this up and see we can come in here and we have our scripture and we have everything like this. So now what we're gonna do is drag this over. I have OBS on this my one screen here is also going to have the worship extreme over here so let's drag this over and in obs what we're going to be doing is capturing our second monitor which we already have going on right here but we're going to move this up to the top in front of our phone so that way our graphics we be over top of what we're doing all right, so I have everything. As you can see, there is a delay because I am using the phone <laughs> directly for my source right now. So what we're gonna do is inside of OBS, let's go ahead and bring up our scripture in a lower third. And this happens to be Psalms 23. And boom, there we go. So I am using my phone <laughs> to have everything run and then I am doing my scripture here over top. Really cool. So I know it sounded like it was a lot of hoops to jump over, but literally all you're doing is using your phone as a webcam that goes over your network. Now I'm sure there are other programs that you can actually use to actually let you turn your phone into a regular webcam without using any of this. And you can just use, um, instead of going through the IPs and all this other stuff, um, I'll probably see if I can find a better program for that to where you can just hook up a USB cable and it just feeds directly. I couldn't find it at the time of doing this, but hopefully that helps. All right, and that's pretty much it. So in OBS, you can follow any of the other videos where you just connect it to whatever you're streaming to. So pretty much what you can do is just have your phone or your Android tablet just looking at you running that app somebody else having the laptop that has worship extreme whatever software because again i use worship extreme but you can do the same thing with powerpoint all the other programs that we've talked about is it works the exact same way set it up and now you can actually have scripture that people can read along with you while you're doing your live stream with your phone but you're going to be leveraging obs to connect to wherever that you're going so Hopefully I didn't make it too complicated. So I'll have a link in the description to everything that I used at the exact app that I used on my phone and everything else. I'll have a link to everywhere else where you can download OBS and all that other fun stuff, Worship Extreme if you wanted to use it so that you can set this up. And it really doesn't take that long. You can actually get it set up if you practice it um, and get kind of good with it. It should only take you about an hour to put that stuff together if you've never used any of this stuff before. So anyway, I hope you like this type of content. If you do, I appreciate a like. Consider subscribing and click that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video later.